In part two, I'm going to add a product list method, and that product list method is going to use HQL, which uh, interfaces with the iQuery uh, in Hibernate interface. And then we'll look at the company list uh, method, which uses the iCriteria uh, interface into uh, in Hibernate. So let's go create our our product list method. It's in the controller in the controller's home controller file. Let's go down. And basically, we left it at, at lesson 10, how I told you, the, the assembly to keep it a, li a little bit easier. And here we have our HQL it's using the iQuery interface. And it's just basically doing writing some HQL is from product, which is our class, where the company ID equals a company ID. And we're, and we're going to pass it the ID. And then we do a quick uh, link changing link to SQL, uh, basically converting uh, what we get back from this uh, um, HQL call uh, and convert that into a, J a JSON uh, data object that the jQuery JQ grid needs to have it in that format in order to display it correctly. And like I mentioned in uh, that the product list method we're going to use uh, HQL which is a string uh, formatted uh, statement that in Hibernate then translates into SQL for you and it and returns this I list uh, of the identified class and it uses the iQuery um, interface and if we scroll up how I mentioned our company list is going to use um, I criteria, and so basically it it creates it has a session dot create criteria, which uh, uses the um, I criteria interface, and it gives us back an an I list. But you'll see here instead of passing it a a string of um, HQL, we're just doing a, a we're saying G give me all of the entries for this. Uh, for this class and I do the same thing I convert this list uh, using link to SQL uh, I convert the list into a JSON data object that the JQ grid needs to have this data formatted that way so that it can dis display it uh, correctly so next let's go add our, our JavaScript code to the views home index.aspx file and this code will basically call our product list method in our con controller file which is this it's going to pass it the company ID which then the product list method will use to give us all the products for that uh, specific company and it just basically does the almost the same thing as the as the grid uh, it just has the the column names, which data type we're going to be passing it, uh, and the column model. And let's run it. In part three, we're going to update it in Hibernate to use uh, in Hibernate version 3.0 beta version because there at the time of recording this uh, the full release has not been uh, de deployed and link to in hibernate is only available in version 3 and we're going to use link to in hibernate to retrieve the uh, product data and then we're going to run it so let's ins let's uh, install in hibernate version 3 you can see the version th th that I use that I downloaded is in Hibernate 3.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
and, and let's go modify our product list method to use link to and hibernate instead of the HQL. So the first thing we want to do actually is go and add our using in hibernate.link and then come back down and let's comment out these three lines of code that we are used to configure HQL. And now let's add our link statement. So basically we just use a basic link uh, context and format and it's just from p in session dot query passing it our class and the where clause searching for our company ID and then to list and let's run it and so now whenever we click to view our subgrid it's using link to and hibernate to get our, our our data instead of HQL. And in conclusion, we reused from a lesson 10. We added a subgrid to the index.aspx file. We modified the con controller file. And we changed the product list to use link to and hibernate.